Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wandering Village, where our explorers have just returned to Katori Village on the back of our beloved Anbu Nu with some rather terrifying news. It seems that further ahead in the world, we actually have a chance- uh-oh. Uh, I- it seems- it seems- Right now in the world, we might have a chance to run into some problems. I think the explorers just hauled themselves back up, like rappling. I mean, if you think about it, probably one of the prerequisites to be one of our explorers is the idea that you're able to go ahead and mountain climb and like rappel up. Oh boy, oh, the quarry just got finished. Well, yay, but we kind of have bigger things to worry about. Uh, so the explorers must have just like repelled and climbed up the back of our ombu as quickly as they possibly could to warn everyone that we are right in the path of this thunderstorm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are we gonna be able to make it? Are we gonna be able to make it in time? We do not have enough food for all of the people in our village in order to play with this nonsense. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my gosh, come on you, come on. An entire mountain range running is kind of difficult. No, 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 no. Please, she's doing her best, no. She was doing her best, you guys. She was just getting us out of this thunderstorm. There's another thunderstorm over here, and there is even a strong sandstorm over here. There's a bunch of fake tasty looking stones. Oh, and we don't, she doesn't know which way to go. Oh, you guys, what do we do? The scouts tried to come back to warn everybody in time. And I, I think I'm so nervous about like going to the south, but everyone is so tired of the desert and we barely have any water. We legitimately were just starting to get enough water. And now there's this problem. Oh my gosh, I think the whole village is going to be in chaos. The whole village must be absolutely in chaos right now. All right, we need, we need to go ahead and switch over to have everybody be like builders. I'm gonna go ahead and put like these cottages on like lowest priority actually, because we need, oh, we really need the water repaired. Okay, this is, this is actually critical. The shrine keepers are probably begging and screaming, like yelling that we absolutely need to go ahead and, okay, the water is actually the most critical. So doctors will be next. The kitchen is definitely critical. Um, that's gonna be a huge problem. The farms, absolutely. Like the farms are super critical to get done. Oh my gosh. The farms and the kitchens are like some of the most important things that we absolutely need to get like up and going. <gasps> and news food as well. Okay, people are already repairing her food. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got to get all of the water things put back together because it looks like we're gonna have to make a difficult decision in a second here. Unfortunately, poor New doesn't have a clear idea of which direction to go. I think we're gonna have to tell her to go north because it, like the storms are so powerful and so strong and so fast. I really thought we were gonna be able to get out of that storm in time. She was doing such a good job for us, trying to go ahead and take us out of the direction of the storm. I feel so bad for her. Hang in there, new. Oh, you guys. All right, we're getting all of the repairs going now. The water towers never even had a chance to get the water that we filled up. And now we have to get ready to go back into the desert. This is gonna be a little bit devastating. Um, honestly, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit devastating. I think we're gonna turn this farm off. No, we're not gonna turn this farm off, Never mind. Uh, we're gonna turn off planting for a little bit. I just want everybody to work on harvesting so we can try to harvest all of the food as quickly as possible. And then these guys are going to be swapped over to working on uh, corn pretty soon. And then the kitchen doesn't have any corn available. Do they have enough berries? There's a lot of berries available. And I think, yeah, there's a lot of wheat that we're turning into flour. The bakery should be able to provide a little bit of food. I actually think we have so many people now. We might need to go ahead and build a second bakery uh, in order to like work on our food because some people are starting to starve. But dang it, I really thought I was gonna be able, oh. Oh man, should we put the bakery like over here? I guess we do need to get rid of this tree stump because this is actually a critically important food zone. Um, I guess I could put the bakery over here. 
and they wouldn't have to walk too far for the flour. But then people would try to walk to the bakery when it was that far away. Should I put the bakery over here? I mean, that, that's a more central location. I was gonna put a farm there though, and I think that's more important. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is hard. I, 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 okay, we'll put a bakery up here and we'll, we'll have to see how things work out. All right, that'll be like medium priority. People are really getting hungry. Oh man. And I think we need to have like distributors distributing food. Let's switch over to general workers, general workers, carriers. Oh man. All right, how's new doing? We're gonna have to guide her past this chunk of food. And you know what? I think we'll go ahead and have her sleep right now. The longer we can stay in the mountain range to try to gather up water, the better. Oh, and there's an ancient shrine far away. Oh, we'll have to send whoever is currently exploring this little abandoned settlement uh, down to the ancient shrine. They brought back bread, yes! <laughs> Oh, I really hope, like, whatever desert we are about to head into, the Luna Moon mountain range actually ended up being quite short. Uh, we were hoping desperately that it would be a refuge full of water. And alas, it has not been. There you are, my dear. And we have carriers. People are getting really hungry. We started with 82 people. I hope we continue to have 82 people. Let's go ahead and just get things like harvested as quickly as possible. Ooh, okay guys. Well, I'm kind of nervous about this. We're gonna shut down this herbalist for now. Um, actually, I'll let them go ahead and harvest and then when they're done harvesting, we'll shut them down. How are the repairs coming? There's some repairs going on, and these people still have a lot of beets, so we're gonna switch over to beet soup. And there's a lot of berries stored in here, so I think we're able to keep the mycologists who are critically growing uh, the very, very precious food sources. I think we'll be able to keep them like working on their mushrooms. There we go. And we're just hovering. We have almost 100 people, so I would prefer to see like 300 food. <laughs> and we are really struggling and hovering right outside of that range. So I, I oh man, and our quarry got destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh. We might need to start reassigning some people here and there so that we have more food being collected and more efficient resources being used. I think we're at over 200 medicine. So I think I'm going to reduce the workers in the fields for now. Okay, we'll just do two workers. And then we'll carry on with maybe a couple builders. How many, how many unattached people do we have? Also, we actually have a whole bunch of the dung collected. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about Maybe I'll do biogas and turn off dung collector for a little while. And then I'll harvest a couple of these trees. Phew, okay. Wow. Yeah, we barely just escaped the tail end of that storm. Um, our scavengers might be finally bringing back a little bit more knowledge. And we are about to the end of the first arc of our journey with Katoria Village. Just when I thought, oh, maybe we've seen it all. No, my friends, we haven't seen it all. We actually are trying to let our glorious mountain new rest while we restore a little bit of peace to everything that is currently going on. A oh, storage full on this water. While we restore a little bit of what is going on with our villagers. I guess while she is sleeping, they could be planting beets. But I want them to harvest for a little while longer, just so we can get that done. All right, and builders are getting the streets done so people will move a little faster. Glass blowers are currently making more glass. And I actually think, my friends, that we might soon be switching over once these cottages are repaired from having so many glass blowers and so many iron workers. Right now, we actually have, nobody can work the iron furnace because uh, we're out of iron ore, which amazes me. 
Wow, and we have 70 iron ore? Does that mean we could maybe do our, our like dramatic season one finale by building the survival monument? We need more stone slabs and we need more glass. So actually we're really close to being able to do that. That is surreal. How's the quarry working? So there we go. We have survivor Teresa is actually coming over to the quarry and is working for the first time on this very itchy boulder that our beloved new has on her back. Phew. Okay, I'm hoping we can get the water like moved. Once the builders finish a few more things over here, then I'm going to move the worker post to have a whole nother crew of just carriers. Yeah, if we have, you know what, if we already have the builders, I'm going to switch these guys to carriers. And maybe we can get the resources distributed as we need. Because I want these air wells emptied <laughs> as quickly as possible. And I want these water tanks filled up to the brim, please. <laughs> yes, this makes me so happy. Good job. Oh, we don't even have a name for this, this villager yet. But this is definitely going to be a water keeper, which you can imagine is an essential important role in our village. Brittany, Waterkeeper Brittany, good job. You are working with villager Rhonda to go ahead and literally do what I asked. Look at that. Everyone, please continue to just go back and forth. Villager Rhonda, back and forth. I am so proud of them. There, that's 100% full. We're at 720 water now. And our beloved new is just wiggling Oh, good job. Dr. Leo is piling up the water and he's super happy too. I am so proud of all of our villagers. Like they're really making it happen. All right. And then we'll actually get one more person working as stone cutter because we could use the 50. Is that, is that how many we need? 40. So we only need 40 of the stone slabs and just five more of the glass. And I think we almost have, oh, some people are getting sick, but we should be okay. And I think we almost have enough people that I can destroy some of the older housing. Let's see. Yeah, 90, we have 10 more housing than we need. Excuse me. We now have a lot more housing than we need. The last of the cottages in the road are getting built. This feels really fitting. I feel like we're, we're coming up at a perfect spot to kind of celebrate. Yes, the village has come so far. While we may still have more to go, there is hope for the future. Um, and I've always not really liked what's going on here. And I would like to put the survivor monument like kind of in the center like this. <laughs> So I think we're going to go ahead and we will maybe scooch a neighborhood over a little bit and see if we can risk. I need to build a couple more cottages, unfortunately, <laughs> if we're going to go ahead and risk actually like uh, removing all of those ones. But I think we'll go ahead and put like one right here. And that means I have to use my stone slabs. Gosh darn it. But that's okay. And maybe like... One right here, too, and here. And that should be enough. Oh, look, we have like a little neighborhood and everything. That should hopefully be enough to be able to remove these cottages. I can I can get at least a couple of them started, I think. Uh, I'll just remove one for now. <laughs> There's more people than I realized. Yay, and we have one knowledge returned to us, friends. Uh, we need three for the laboratory. So we're not going to spend that knowledge, but we will praise the explorers who have returned with it and send them out for more stone so that we can get these stone slabs made. Oh, this is such a relief. Okay. How are my water tanks? Getting pretty full. My air wells are getting pretty full. You know what I want to see more of before we, uh, before we scooch out of here? I want to see more water tanks. I, I feel like I have dragged my feet on making sure that we always have tons of water tanks and we always have tons of water. So it feels really appropriate to finally address that oversight. 
Let's see. And to finally address the fact I've never had them <laughs> be able to like quickly and easily access this water zone. All right. I wonder if some of our villagers would actually start feeling a little bit more entitled to to basically new and her life because we need to remember we are indeed building literally on her back and i hope that the the new villagers among us are grateful for her sacrifice of like letting us be here carriers carriers okay nobody is going to be building for me if i'm not careful so let's do let's do more more general workers for just a second all right build these my friends also, somebody, somebody, okay, we need harvesters, actually. General workers, harvesters, there we go. And then I think we might need more doctors. And there is, I think there is indeed enough positions open to have more doctors right now. Wow! All right! Water, water, water everywhere! I'm actually, you know what, our prayers to the moon may have been answered because this is the Luna Moon mountain range and we actually do have like almost a thousand water which is making me feel a lot better about the future uh, and I think I might let them go ahead and plant a few more beets just while we can really quickly can they plant corn right now no it's beets beet time and then I'm going to put down before I forget again a farm over here because I would like to try to get the farmers to overlap but we're gonna go ahead and not have the material added in just yet phew and our scavengers are back we're gonna send them out to hopefully snag some more iron ore we have plenty of iron actually smelted though I'm really proud of our smelters and look at this you guys how awesome what a peaceful day in Katori Village, and I'm actually really proud of everybody <laughs> because everything is uh, a lot more, a lot more constructed, a lot more cared for than I kind of ever thought we would end up becoming. You legitimately would not recognize this as where once upon a time our our people had first started, just clinging to survival on a few trees and some little scraps of gla or grass. And now here we are, almost a thousand water strong, <laughs> taking good care of new with a little society of our own. And I, I just think that's kind of amazing. It really is. All right, and I'm gonna let this guy plant stuff while we have the water to do it. Good, good, good. And then what's this? Yeah, the berry gatherers are doing their thing. I don't know if I want to build a road out to them, but it would probably make sense, wouldn't it? Because look at how far everybody is coming. All right, we'll do a little path. And there we go. We'll connect up our little berry farmer with the rest of the village. <laughs> nice! Yay! And one of the water tanks is constructed, which makes me quite happy. And I think we have some harvesters and other people bringing what we need. And then New is still sleeping. Okay, she's going to wake up soon. So we're going to switch from beets to planting wheat for just a minute. Because I know that our girl is going to be ready to go ahead and get up, get moving. And how are our mycologists? Doing okay. I wish we had more mycologists working a little faster and it seems that we have a lot of sick villagers at the moment but we haven't lost anyone our doctors are just very busy i think you know what let's have maybe we're gonna close that herbalist and just add another person to this one yeah we'll do that oh and there she goes she's waking up you guys all right, I think we have done it. We have done a very good job. Uh, she's gonna be hungry and we're coming up. Let's feed her. We're coming up on the fake food that we don't want her to eat. But I think that we are almost there. Just a little bit more glass and we'll be able to build the monument. We just need to go ahead and move some of the people so they are no longer 
stuck at the spot where we're going to put in the monument to new. I love that idea. And we have done quite a bit of exploring, quite a bit of scavenging, and I'm so grateful that we have got about a thousand water. Still trying really, really, really hard to get ahead on the whole food thing, but I think that means we need to have a lot more of our people be farmers, to say the least. <laughs> wow. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We are definitely filled up with water and we'll hopefully be able to survive. And, uh, Wow, this just doesn't look like the same village anymore, does it? If you guys could, do please leave a like for new and for the village of the Katori people. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye